First, there was people playground, then melon playground, and now fruit playground. <laughs> okay, we're, we're devolving now. Don't worry though, this game is actually not an exact ripoff of Melon or People Playground. It's semi-unique, apparently, according to Gary Bell. Let's see what Gary has to say. When I first discovered this game, I expected it to be a knockoff of Melon Playground, as one does. But to my surprise, it was really good, and not an attempt at copying Melon Playground at all. The physics are great. It is a mobile game, so ads are necessary, but I don't think it will take away from the experience. Overall, a great game. Wow. That's actually... Crazy Gary. Gary said that months ago. Gary's way ahead of the curve on this one. I had no idea that this game even exists until I looked at my analytics and it looks like Fruit Playground is being looked up a lot by my viewers. So it's time to delve deep into this game and figure out what does it mean to be a fruit. I will be critically marking the differences between these two games. Okay, the menu is on the right side. Now that is different. The settings, wow, look at that. We can turn the gore on and off. I'm pretty impressed so far, not gonna lie. All right, we have a huge red flag right here. This is looking really similar. This is looking, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty close, guys. Okay, we have banana and grapefruit, two completely original and unique characters. Dang, the physics do be feeling good though. I don't know if it's just the emulator, but this game is running better, in my opinion. It might just be Unity. Unity, you got this game, all right? I'll give you one thing, your physics working. I don't know if I should give you the credit or the developer, probably the dev, probably the dev. I give it a dev credit. This is great. Ooh, wow, that looks great. Under high physics simulation load, this is, uh, this is looking pretty good so far, not gonna lie. We're doing way better. Oh, man, I actually keep 100% of my frames. Can you believe it? A stable build in an emulator. I'm so impressed right now, actually. What is going on? Am I dreaming? Somebody punch me. They even have an undo button. Nice, dude. I like that. They do have clear living, clear debris as well. That's pretty similar, not gonna lie. But it is a utility that an, a ragdoll engine such as this game should have. So the fact that it is here is good. Not a bad thing. The spawn menu is obviously the, the inspiration was clearly taken from the other games. I don't even know which game started it anymore. Like, was it People Playground? I feel like it might have been, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it was People Playground. People Playground came out in 2019. Wait, it says, it says September 2023. I feel like that's not right. I feel like someone's lying here. So basically all of these two-dimensional games are taking inspiration from People Playground. However, something completely unique to this game is the native ability to just control the ragdoll. Usually you'll need a mod for this in other games and Melon Playground doesn't even have this feature, but they have an entire UI setup where I can control the ragdoll and even follow it. This is awesome, dude. I can control my left and right arm with these. This is so cool. Uh, I imagine I can also pick things up with this side. It's gonna be kind of awkward because I have a mouse, but I think I might be able to do some crazy magic to get this to work. This isn't even a feature in People Playground, but there are some of uh, mods that allow you to do things like this, and they're very highly polished. I don't really know if they have all this stuff though. Hey, stop looking at me. <laughs> they have punching technology. Hold on, hold on. Shh. Don't say a word. What the heck? They even have a jump button. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> that looks great, actually. Okay, I set up I set up my binds, kind of. I can't really grab on. You can't grab on to people. But maybe if I had, a, like, an item. Let's try and spawn something. A melee. A melee knife. I should be able to pick this up. Maybe. Oh! It worked. I literally just... I pointed at it and summoned it into my hand. I got it. It's, in, it's perfect. It's perfectly in my hand. Let's go. I have some words to share with this other character down here. Nothing harmful, just something I would like to say to the orange man. One more step closer. You never come around my parts again. What does this button do? Ow! I just dropped it into my leg. All right, um, gotta go. Get that knife out of you. We, get, we gotta get out of here. All right, buddy, nice and easy. Nice and easy. We're just gonna pick up the gun. We're gonna pick it up. Hold on. Hold on. Almost, it's not rotating the right way. There we go. You hold right there. I'm not afraid to use this in any sense of the matter. I'm, I'm missing. Why is the... Ah, it's so heavy. My guy's weak. Look at how much damage he's taking. You stay down. This game is surprisingly functional. They even have a clothing tab. Um, 
Wow, look at look at this. I only got the bottom part of the pants to stick onto him. It just like attaches to him in pieces. My military suit is now complete. I must stand my ground against the grapefruit menace. <laughs> it's so hard. The gun, my guy's weak. Hold on, wait, I gotta grab on. I gotta grab on with the other hand. Did that work? It did work. How am I supposed to control both my left and right arm at the same time? I don't have- Hold her steady. Aim true. <laughs> it's actually cool that you can grab onto two things. Does that mean I can dual wield? <laughs> that would be so awesome. Oh, I just shot myself in the way. <laughs> oh my god, quickly, quickly. Just take a seat. Take a seat, my young lad. You. That's it. That's not- no, no. <laughs> That's not right. He didn't, uh, I mean, it's almost right. We have a bunch of tools down here we can drag around, but we also, we have these, like, ropes. I don't know what this even does. Connects me to the wall, apparently. We have wires. What? We have scissors. Ah, I'm free at last. Well, this game has been a pleasant surprise so far, I'm not, not gonna lie. Oh, I just took the gun out of his hand. The dumbbells wielding a gun. Oh my god, everyone get down. I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> Let's just give him the money. Uh, there's no money. There's no money to give him. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. There's so many more options than I thought there was. Resize? Yeah, this was definitely not taken from any other game that I know of. <laughs> Got the spear. Hold on, hold on now. With both hands. <laughs> you, sir, your time has come to an end. As soon as I take a step closer... That's right. There's nothing wrong with my weapon. It did not just flip upside down. Oh. <gasps> Spamming, walking back and forth, clearly uh, sometimes affects your weapons negatively. However, we can fix that. We'll just restart completely. Since the physics simulation of this game is actually so much better, I'm going to try my hardest to push the limits of uh, the engine. Uh, I haven't lagged once while playing this game, which is a great surprise. Can I use a weapon possibly? Activate. Oh, okay. It looks like we found the limit. Oh, we got a little bit of pieces. I have no idea what this is. Maybe a bone fragment? A chunk of flesh, possibly. And of course, they have the syringe tab. You cannot have a ragdoll 2D physics engine without this. Ever since People Playground came out, uh, no, no game has ever lived up to it. The knockout syringe. How do I rotate this? That's the only thing. I oh, I think I got him. Oh, I got him a few times, actually. Is he actually knocked out, though? Mm, looks like it. We gotta try the sword. Oh, no. Horrible timing. At least the ads in this game are way less intrusive than Melon Playground. I don't know why. Swords work pretty good. Look at I'm holding him by the hilt of the sword. Wow, that's actually really good. You've thought of a lot, haven't you, developer? Talented man. Wow, look at that. They have item objects. Grapefruit. Banana. You will give me that banana right now. The only thing left in my entire lineage. I knocked them out. Easy peasy. The banana race has been saved. I think I may have found a bug. So if you swap directions over and over again, really, really fast, his legs just break. I'm not lying. Why isn't it doing it? There it is, there it is. <laughs> you broke your legs. Both of them. Completely snapped off of the kneecap. That is tragic. Oh, this game is fun though. I will give... The developer, credit where it is due, this game is fun. It is on the Android store and you can find it under Fruit Playground. If you guys would like me to play this more, please leave a like on the video and let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much. I will see you very soon in the next video. Goodbye.